Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to split a string into an array using the split method. The split method splits a string into an array of strings. It takes an argument for the delimiter, which can be a character to use to break up the string or a regular expression. For example, if the delimiter is a space, you can get an array of words. And if the delimiter is an empty string, you get an array of each character in the string. Here are two examples of what split uh, here are two examples that split one string by spaces, then another by digits using a regular expression. So here they've got the string is equal to hello world. Um, they, they're doing it by space. They're going to get an array with two words in it, hello world. So it splits them up because of the space in the middle. Here's another string, and they split it up by digits. So they're splitting it up by uh, an, a regular expression, which is the D. And then they're not including the digits, but they the, the digits are used to delineate how are you today. Uh, since strings are immutable, the split method makes it easier to work with them. Use split method inside the splitify function to split the string into an array of words. This function should return an array. Note that the words are not always separated by spaces, and the array should not contain punctuation. Okay, cool. So... Let's uh, console log our result, just so we know what we're working with. Um, now, th th I think that the best thing to do here is just to return string.split, and then we want to do it based on a regular expression. And the regular expression, uh, just capital W, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does it. Okay, so the capital W is a regular expression for uh, non- alpha numeric characters, and that's for uppercase and lowercase. If we did lowercase w, it's just, um, it splits by uh, alpha numeric characters. And then we're basically just getting a bunch of spaces. Uh, so we need capital W in there so that we split by alpha numeric characters. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna pass the test. Um, let's see, what's the point of this? Split a string into a using a method. Basically, I mean, if this is our string, right? Um, our string. I mean, if does it even does this this one would alter our string? So if we were to console dot log our string, it should be the same. These should be the same, right? Okay, cool. So we're not mutating the global variable with this one. So I guess in returning the string dot split, we don't need to uh, adjust it. You know what that had to do with um, variables. So yeah, I guess this is going along with our uh, material. We're not messing with the global variable, but we're getting a, a splitified string, you know, or um, we're able to get the results of an array in which we've broken it down by words. And so maybe that's useful somehow. Um, yeah, not sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.